taking a break from the heat. We're inside here down at uh, Chateau St. Michael's. Um, it's not very too often that uh, buildings or properties celebrate centennials, but here in town we've got a few buildings and Chateau St. Mike's happens to be one of them. Uh, Leanne, you guys are celebrating. What tell, let us know what's going on during that weekend. Well, this Saturday, uh, we'll be celebrating our 100th anniversary. Uh, it's really just a great big celebration with family, friends, our residents, uh, and of course inviting community members. Uh, we're going to be starting off uh, at 12 o'clock with uh, a barbecue and uh, it's going to be held outdoors um, and uh, from there we'll have a few speeches. We've got two wonderful bands, mm -hmm. uh, Band City Band as well as Olga and Friends mm -hmm. and uh, they'll be playing some great music for us. We've got a petting zoo coming okay. as well as face painting, rock decorating, lots of raffles and prizes. I noticed on the poster too you've got a dunk tank too. We do have a <laughs> dunk tank. We're hoping to dunk a, a couple of the big bosses. Oh right on. Yeah. Um, now, I know you, you mentioned off camera, you've only been here a year, but 100 years ago, this place, this place doesn't look that year but past two years old. No. Uh, maybe give us a little bit of an idea of what this area was like 100 years ago. Well, back in 1912, the building opened as a, a school for boys. It was called the Moose Jaw College for boys. And um, actually, one of our residents who since passed on, he actually stayed here as okay. a schoolboy and then later lived here when it was uh, Chateau St. Michael's. Um, from beginning after the boys' school, it, uh, it became St. Anthony's Retirement Villa in 1939. And then it opened up in 1999 again as uh, Chateau St. Michael's. All right on. So uh, during that weekend, I expect there's going to be plenty of opportunities to tell stories like this and get information. It's always good to see it, right? Yes, we have a wonderful scrapbook too that uh, has lots of pictures back from uh, even back to 1912. There's some great pictures and um, lots of stories. We're all, we're, we will also be offering tours of the building mm -hmm. for anyone wanting to see a little bit of the history. Right on. Um, so you want family and friends to come down, people that uh, don't even have an attachment to this building, uh, all to celebrate 100 years. How can they go about uh, getting more information about the dates and times and what's going on here on the weekend? Well, they can certainly contact uh, myself or um, anyone else in the office. Um, my phone number is 693-2346 and I have lots of information or they can email me at csmrecreation at hotmail.com and we'll have lots more information for anyone interested. We're just excited to celebrate with the community and uh, show off our building and, and what's happened over a hundred years. And I'm sure leading up to that weekend, uh, it's going to be very busy for you, right? Very busy, but we have a wonderful group of staff, wonderful volunteers helping us and uh, just hoping for the best day possible. Well, Leanne, I'll, I'll let you get back to work, but thanks very much for doing this. Thank you for coming. And for those of you at home, uh, that's this weekend. Stay tuned for the dates and times at the bottom of your screen. For Shaw TV, I'm Brett Hopper.